Everyone's worried about customer satisfaction, patient satisfaction. Surveys are given, secret shoppers are sent out. And yet, are you really getting to the root of what is going on? I worked for many, many years at a wonderful hospital. And what we discovered and what we began to teach changed everything, shot us up to the top of the class. And you know what it was? You will have a happy customer if you have a happy employee. Duh. <laughs> I'm sure you're thinking, okay, Kathy, everyone knows that. How do you get a happy employee? If you want the end result to be a happy patient or a happy customer, and you want them to come back because they can choose services all over the place. But why do they want to choose your service? Have you all had the privilege of having the manager, the director, who tried your patience, made you want to throw your hands up? Do you think that manager or that director is going to have very pleasant and happy employees underneath? Let me tell you, I have seen unbelievable people who have had bad workplaces and have said, I don't care. It is all about the patient. It is all about the customer. I don't care. That's far and few between them. Your managers, your directors, your administrators, your CEO, top dog on the podium, if they are not customer friendly to their employees, <laughs> it's not going to work. So here is the deal, is we all start these programs, and they're long, and they're boring, and they take up all of our time that we don't have, when it can be taught very quickly. We taught ours in a couple of hours in two days, which can be done differently now that we have Zoom. <laughs> that makes it so much easier. But First, first, you train the top people. You train those who are above everyone else. Because when they understand how to be a good boss, I always think of that undercover boss. I like that. When you, tr when you understand and, and it can be done through the just simple talking and education. And you treat your employees, which would in a lot of cases be your directors and your managers, and they in turn are giving that service to their employees. What you will find is a happy, content, successful business. Not because someone walked in, noticed the name tag. What is your name? You know, I've checked around because I, I really I can't wrap my head around. And, and I'm not downing because I, obviously they work. But I can't wrap my head around how a mystery shopper walking in doing what they do, and I have done it before to try to understand, how that is helping the complete circle. So I will be honest with you, I don't know. I do know this. I have asked hotel managers and others. Do you have secret shoppers ever come 
Oh, yes. <laughs> and they start laughing. Oh, yes. We know them the minute they walk in the door. Number one, they've got to get our names. Now, my husband is the type that he likes to know your name because he likes to say, thank you, Anne, for helping me. Anne, was that you I talked to? So, you know, he's a salesman. That's fine. But there's these little details. And one uh, hotel uh, manager over the uh, housekeeping, she said, we know because everything goes wrong. This doesn't work. Got to have this, this, and this, and this. And she said, you know, most of the time we don't run into that. And when we do, it is a certain personality. Hmm. So, if it's a certain personality, then you would teach your people how to deal with that certain personality. So, she said, I'm well aware of who is a secret shopper. What benefit is it? And there's got to be a benefit or we wouldn't have secret shoppers. But why not start quickly at the top and work down to the bottom? I'm going to tell you something. You know what my favorite thing to do as a manager was? <laughs> something I miss. Yearly evaluations. I know. You can call me crazy, but when you know how to do them, it is absolutely the most rewarding thing you can do. When that employee gets up from that evaluation and says, thank you for listening. Thank you for what you're doing. What do you think that does for me? And I... <laughs> That gives me a little warm fuzzy, and guess what? It's going to kind of ripple out towards everyone else. The ripple effect matters. Your customer service matters. Everybody matters. So, if you're interested, we can do this, and I can lay it out. But think about it. Who begins the atmosphere? of customer service. Thank you.